Hey, hello, everybody. Hope you had a good holiday. Um, unfortunately for me, um, I am um, under duress, and um, I'm just being honest. Uh, not not that I can't handle it. It's, it's nothing that I can't handle, but um, it is a bit more uh, paperwork and finding the 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 different systematic issues that we're having with our legal system and how they continue to use this disdain uh, that they have. For an example, let, let's 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 just use this as an example when it comes to the 23rd district court. Okay. They're open five days a week, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. Okay. You got all these public servants that work in there. Now, some of them are good, but some of them are can be, I don't know, distastefully disrespectful. Um, and I do have a, a, a phone conversation that I want you to hear because there's a cover-up going on, I believe. Never, for the misdemeanor that I had, uh, they, 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 they had figured it out real fast, real quick. And it, it was found within three days. And that was a Friday, uh, uh, that it was written on and Tuesday they had that ticket. Right. Uh, so under this one where I have made it very, very, very clear, I've been calling and, uh, speaking to people that are in charge that are supposed to have these um, administrative orders and follow their administrative order directives and policies and procedures, right? And and what's happening here is they are, for some reason, this process is taking longer than usual. I don't know if they're probably not going to show the ticket. I have no idea whether they're going to show this ticket or not. Okay. I don't have a clue. I mean, it's more likely that they will because, you know, tyranny has no boundaries. Um, especially when they're doing it in an arbitrary fashion. When people do things in an arbitrary fashion, the word arbitrary, ladies and gentlemen, is inside the word tyrant and tyranny. So the arbitrary fashion is the people that continue to put things and they're so used to, it's like an, you know, directive policy and operating standard procedure, right? Directive policy in this case, in our case, would be like the Constitution, right? And then operating standard procedure is something that they went off the Constitution on, and they have a different way of following that rule than the way it was written, okay? So they continue to write things like this. The web designer, here, I'll give you a perfect example. The web designer was told to put the cost and fines, right? The cost and fines. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <sighs> I got the wrong page up there. Forgive me. All right. So what the heck? That's weird. All right, here we go. Okay, so the cost and fines are right here. Again, I, I, I know that I showed some of you guys this stuff, right? So the cost and fines of, let's see, where is it at? Parking on, right here, see this? Parking on turf. 
$65. Oops. I don't want the whole thing. I just want that lit up so you guys could see it. All right. Now, that right there is a perfect example of, okay, here, let's make it simpler. And because we know that these are in the law, right, we know that these specific um, terms are in the law, okay? It's right there. And, and remember, so just for the record, you see this. This is Taylor. Okay. That's their website. They are government. Okay. They are they are they are a city government that is ran by the Constitution, the Supreme Law of the Land, and the, the judiciary process and and legislators that and govern who rules them and that is why it's wrote and written into a code all right so what happens is these legislators write this into their law so going to the law right under What's supposed to be there is this one right here. This is 257-674, all right? Parking on a sidewalk, okay? There's nothing we've already... Now, I went through this with all my subscribers. They all know. All 8,000 of you know, you went through this. So, okay, we're not going to do that. But I'm just, I'm just being a little faster about this today. For those of you that, that already know what's going on. So I showed you that. That's in the legislative law. You see this right here? Legislator over here. These guys are the ones that make the law. The 23rd District Court right here. These guys right here are the people that are enforcing a part of the enforcement of that law. They just enforce these laws. And under there, that's where you see where they added parking on turf. Now I will prove that allegation by simply going to Chapter 48 inside prohibited parking. Okay. Thank God I, I, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they're, if they're in there right now changing the law. And right adding to it. Okay, here we go. Prohibited parking, parking on sidewalk. There's nothing on there that says a sidewalk is on a turf, it's built on a turf. So, what I'm assuming what why they have that law into place and why it right now in this situation. I believe that they're they're abusing this in a in a, in a, in a fashion where that pe there are some people out here, okay, that are parking where a sidewalk should be, and they're blocking that access, and that's why they in their front yards. And that is the law that they're using to get these people when they're parking in their front yards. Okay. Especially when there's no sidewalk and there needs to be a right of way where people can walk. Okay. So that is why I believe they are passively aggressively enforcing that. Okay. And I am going to make an informal, a formal hearing on it. And I'm, I want you guys to listen to this conversation. Let me turn this heater up because it's a little loud. Now, you know how I could be, you know, um, I, I'm not perfect, and I I, I, di I didn't swear an oath to the people, okay? Um, I, I did not swear an oath to the people that I would be uh, this honorable uh, man every time I get up 
and not sound cranky and not sound re- dis- and not sound respectful to some people. Okay, I di- I didn't give that out. That that's just a courtesy that we're supposed to give. But these people that work for you have a code of conduct. They're not allowed to presume anything in evidence that's not in the evidence, just like the court quorum. And they're not allowed to find, they're not allowed to say you're guilty of something until you've been found guilty. But they all know each other so well, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is what we're trying to stop. This is what we're trying to uh uh, get rid of the nepotistic values that these court administrators and these court officers and these court recorders and these judges to understand. You work for the people. We put you there. The narcissistic tyrants that continue to sit there and passively, aggressively say, for an example, I have a copy of my oath and it's on my desk and I dare you, how dare you to question that when you know they're wrong and all you're asking them because I got that, we th- they have that recorded from one of their judges already. It's somebody put that online. I, 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 uh, I did a story on it. And he had the audacity to say this passively aggressively as the guy that is in front of him sitting there asking, am I going to have a fear? Am I here and am I going to have a fair and balanced trial? Are you guys going to passively aggressively say things and move on to the next step when you are not totally uh, uh, exploiting the whole issue and making the issue very clear to move on. So when it comes to jurisdictional values and jurisdictional issues, and you got, there are professionals that know how to speak to these judges that, that has read the law that no, they're, they're not, they're, they're not holes in the law. They're not, uh, uh, technicality. And the people that are doing it are not sovereign citizens. The only sovereign citizens, I can prove this in a, in a, in a, in a paragraph right now. An institution that hires people that swears an oath to the Constitution can go out and commit a crime one day and they will be handled, processed, and released fully different from us. That's called a two-tier justice system. So when a police officer shoots somebody compared to one of you all shooting somebody, the difference is that you go, you get fingerprinted, then you go to the county jail, and you go in an arraignment, (laughs) right? And you get arraigned for this, and they set this gigantic bond that you can't afford. And you have not been proven guilty at all. And you're sitting there in, in a rape cage. And every time you go from origin to destination back to back and forth to court, they put torture cuffs on you. Now, these officers don't go through that. And that's called a two-tier justice system. Same thing with speed. Same thing with with with, with uh, uh, code enforcement and and things that they're not supposed to do, they get away with it. That they are sovereign citizens, not the person that's trying to obey the law. And I want to make that clear to all my subscribers. Okay? So I want you guys to listen to this conversation. It's been eight days. Now, let let me refer back to this right here. Okay, let me refer back to the the website, the 23rd District Court website, right, where there is the fines and costs, right? Now, in, in these right here, all tickets must be paid within 15 calendar days of the date of charge will, will be assessed after that. And the 15th day, 
if the violation can be waived as a reduction of the amount as listed in violations. Now, they will tell you in person that you can get a warrant put out for your arrest on that. 15 calendar days. It doesn't say 15 working days. It says 15 calendar days, all right? So, um, they, on the misdemeanor that they have, the bold and lies, and uh, uh, you guys seen it because I did it live, where he wrote me a ticket for interfering. And then gaslit me, saying that I was walking between the cars when I got full video of the uncut version that's going to blow the judge's mind when I bring that into evidence. And they still haven't sent me my other evidence. They still haven't gave me my uh, discovery at all. They're not, they're not giving me discovery. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out, wait a minute. If they're in, if the law tells them that they have to give discovery, why don't the defendant have it yet? Me being the defendant. I'm not calling myself a defendant. I'm, I'm using their English and what they call it. So if the defendant don't have it, is that a, is that a, is that a big deal? Oh, no, because they're going to railroad him anyway. He ain't going to get out of this. Obviously, the police officer's right. He's wrong. That's why we're here to begin with. Nope, that's not the way that should work. This judge should... He, he should I, I believe judges shouldn't be judges no longer in six months because what happens is there are a lot of disgusting, evil, rotten, wicked people that come through there, that rape their kids, that kill their kids, that they've got undisputable evidence on, and that they, they, they've already freaking admitted to it, and they just get sick of their job. And they see, and they just start looking at everybody as a as a tyrant, as 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 a piece of shit, and 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 their jobs are causing them to act that way. Before I go on anymore, I just want to welcome everybody. Papa Chuck, how you doing, buddy? The Manuel Effect, what's going on? Yeah, happy fuck the police day for sure. Um, Mr. Hawk fan, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? Stephen Cobbs, what's up? Super Cali, what's up? Track offer, what's up, baby? Launchpad, love you, brother. Glad you're here. Jonathan Borders, what's up? Uh, let's see. Nashville audits. What's happening, man? Welcome. Haven't seen you. Jeremy, what's going on, buddy? Jeremy Earring. Cool. I like it. Uh, Gorf, what's up, bud? Uh, let's see. Tapatos Copwatch, what's up, baby? Utah Copwatch, what's happening, brother? Yeah. James, what's happening? Good to see you up in here. Wolverine. Just stopping in at lunchtime to check to see you. Oh, cool. Happy New Year for you, too, for sure. Scrubzilla, what up, baby? Brooklyn, Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> Scrubzilla, all oh, these guys, you guys are all wonderful. I love you all. Thank you for being here. That's right. One love for sure. One love, one love. Okay. So as we grow, New York, what's up, baby? What's up? Okay, okay. So as I go on, um, I, I want you guys to listen to this phone conversation. This is a very interesting phone conversation. And it's been eight days, guys. It's been eight days. Uh, let's see here. Hey, I got your text there in New York. Thanks, man. Um. All right, we need to go here. I want you guys to listen to this as a, in its entirety because, I mean, you know, I, I, I might, they, what they do is, is, is when I hear them gaslighting, right? And I hear them acting kind of crazy, 
you know, it, it kind of makes me, it gets me angry. It gets me upset that they're pulling the dope fiend move on. It's kind of like one of your kids. You know, one of your kids is sitting there looking at you. No, I didn't do it. And you watched them do it. I swear to him, man, I didn't do it. Are you done? But I didn't do it. Look, man, stop doing that to me right now. Stop it. Just stop. It. But I didn't do it. Okay, that's enough. Go to your room. Grab him by his ear. Time to go to your room. Close the door and you can think about it. And you still, you go up in there, stubborn as hell. But, Dad, I didn't do it. Okay, I'm going to take off my belt and, and spank your little hiney. You know, you are getting on my damn nerves. You know, that is how I felt in this conversation. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, 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 it's, their, it's their ability when, they're, when their voice and their tone starts to sound authoritative, like they're my boss, like, like I work for them, or I'm under subjection to them. That is what I'm talking about. And I, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to have a pissing contest with nobody. All I want them to do is their damn job. And it's funny how they, they don't have that ticket. Because Wolby is going to unleash this, and there's somebody from Channel 2 is already interested in this conference, in, in this, uh, this story. They want to see it unravel. And they told me if I continue to keep uh, the records going on both of these cases because they can see the clear retoratory, retori, excuse me, retaliatory. Uh, Action of the officer when he when he was trespassed, all right. They he had the audacity to uh, act in the manner that he did. So this is what I'm doing right now. Take a listen to this. You have reached the 23 district court in the city of Taylor. To speak to a court clerk. Simply remain on the line after choosing any of the following menu options. And you will be connected. Hours for the court are 8 30 to 4 30, Monday through Friday. The court is closed on all week on holiday for Columbus Day. Due to very high call volume, we encourage you to visit us at our website, www.cityoftaylor.com. Double parking is a zero point violation with a fine of $165. Court clerks cannot take payments over the phone and they cannot give driving directions. If you need payment information or court location, please press 1. For traffic ticket general information, press 2. To schedule a hearing on a traffic ticket, citizens who would like to schedule an informal hearing on their traffic ticket have the option of submitting their request online at www.cityoftaylor.com or by holding the line and speaking to a court clerk. 21st District Court also now offers online ticket mediation where citizens can resolve their ticket with a possible reduction in points and or fines without having to come to court. Please visit www.courtinnovation.com backslash MID23. Again, that website is www.courtinnovation.com backslash MID23. Before scheduling an informal hearing, please do allow at least three business days from receiving the ticket. Please remain on the line for the next available clerk or press zero to return to the main menu. Can I help you? Yeah, I need to uh, schedule a formal hearing for a ticket number when you're ready. Okay. Right, ticket number? All right, it's 22TA22871. When did you receive this ticket? Uh, about a week ago. Actually, it's been eight okay. days. What's your last name? Adam. Okay. 
I do not have that ticket in the system yet. You probably won't either. Because it was given in a bogus. Because if you, if you look at uh, parked on turf, even on the website, the Taylor website, and you go to your ordinance, which is Chapter 48, you won't see it on there. It's an illegal ticket. And I just happen to have a paralegal degree, and I just happen to be a constitutionalist that is a blogger, that is a journalist, that actually does stories on stuff like this and actually gets police officers charged with 241 and 242 deprivation of rights on the color of law and the 244A where you it's illegal and uh, an attempted court violation to write a ticket in the manner that it was written because it's all it's a lie parked at you any time that you come across and you need to be a whistleblower on this too if you're a good person and if you believe in a constitution 70s this 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 parked on turf is the sidewalk there's an mcl on it you guys always have to write your laws on the uh, under the mcls you can't just go be the legislator and add <laughs> to the law all right and they didn't do it. Thank God that they didn't because the, the ordinance would be uh, null and dull as well. If, if a, a smart guy like me comes along and figures it out and then sues the city, puts a 1983 on them. But the point of the matter is I'm not trying to do that because that's my own taxes that I would be stealing off myself. And I, and I pay taxes in the city and I don't like nobody trying to screw my city over or screw over the taxpayers any more uh, than you do or, or anybody else. So we would like to correct these issues and we, we, we would like to correct them under the first amendment, which is called redress. I, I have been redressing this city for at least a, a, about six months now. I have about 150 journalists on their way and we're going to, uh, uh start protesting because the city is not it's a mini Mesa. We did it in Mesa and we corrected the issue there. And now we're going to do it here. And you guys did it to a, a civil rights activist. And this is where he screwed up. And Borg is going to cause you guys a lot of problems, man. You guys don't really want these problems. I don't want these problems. And I'm telling you, it could turn it, it can get real ugly because police officers don't know when to de escalate and to zip their zippers back up because of their manhood. Their manhood is getting away and it's going to cost the taxpayers a lot of money. And uh, I would have deeply, deeply appreciate it if somebody like a court administrator, is the court administrator around today? Because I'd like to talk to that person. That's the judge's boss, you know, everybody else's boss. I'd like to talk to that person. Not him. All right. Is there an assistant, a court administrator? Does she have an assistant? Does she, does, or he or she, does that person have a, a, um, how would I put it? Do they, do they, do they have a, an assistant themselves? Uh, yes, she does. Let me see if she's available. Can okay, cool. One moment? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> So my name's Adam Billinger. I am uh, better known as Wolverine Transparency Group, and mm -hmm. we have 
uh, also Michigan Constitutional Crusader and freaking media. Uh, we are all bloggers, and we are we want to make a formal complaint with the judicial issues that we're having. Uh, for an example, I have a ticket here where it, it is a 15 year felony for the officer that wrote it. And you got a web designer that put and added something to a law that's not in your code. If you, if you would please open your computer in front of you to chapter 48 in parking ordinances. I can't do that right now, but I'll be more than happy. What is it that you're asking for, sir? Well, you see... You see, when you want to be clear with certain things, and she's saying, I can't do that right there, and she's sitting there with a computer like mine, okay, because she's the assistant to the administrator. The administrator has many, many duties inside that building. She is everybody's boss, all right? She runs that crap, and she's got to answer to the higher-ups in, in, in city government, which would be uh, the city council, the, the mayor, uh, the governor, etc., cetera, and, and the, uh, the, the local legislate, the local legislators and the, the, the Lansing legislators. So for her to say that she don't have the time to correct something that they are legislating from the bench from, and the legislators have already wrote it in the law. As you see, it's in law already, okay? Here it is, all right? It, it has not, It does not say, and they, they, they grouped that law together, and they added to the law, all right? So they did not say that parking on sidewalks last turf. They didn't say that in there. It says on sidewalk in front of a public private driveway within an intersection of 15 feet on a crosswalk, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I fit none of that. There's none of that in there that I that I have that I have been accused on on the ticket that fits this 257.674 prohibited parking. I did not and in, like I said, in their code of conduct, or in their, excuse me, not their code of conduct, but again, showing my subscribers. So I'm, because I'm very, very transparent and I'm very thorough in these things. Okay. You see this right here? Nowhere does it say in public, in front of a public driveway within 15 feet of a fire hydrant on a crosswalk. See, that says exactly what that is. This is, uh, this is, uh, 48, 185 prohibited parking. Okay. And the reason why I'm making such a big stink about this and not letting this go is because it was wrote under retaliation. It was wrote while, uh, while uh, being, while in the middle of a redress from a citizen that is, that is a supervisor, that is a steward boss to the department that he's speaking on and 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 he needs to be dealt with here we go uh, i'm asking for the court administrator to take on uh issues that see a, a court administrator is also correct me if i'm wrong but they're the ones that hires the judges and everybody in the court am, am i and that's where i made a mistake they don't hire the judges they hire they hire the the uh, referees or the district judges. They hire them in, okay, and, and they're 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 switched around by the governor. But they, they 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 go they have a list of people that could fill in, and they go in. And the administrator says, okay, I'm going to hire this guy to fill in for for all the judges when the judges can't make it. Okay, that's how that rolls. So here we go. At least uh, most people do. I don't know. Some of these municipalities got their own procedures. They might as well be their own. I believe that's why they 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 stole the American flag and put a blue line through it. So that's why they desecrate the flag the way they do because they they, they are their own sovereignty. 
they do not uh, represent the United States at all. No, no, you're not correct. That's wrong. Judges are voted in by the people of the city. Okay. So I guess it depends where they're voted in. But what is it going to leave a message for the administrator, sir? What, what, is, what would you well, leave a message for? Okay. See how nice she's being right there? She's being cordial. She's answering questions. But watch this. Watch what happens when she starts to get passive aggressive with me and interrupting me. Novi runs their stuff different because the city of Novi, when we dealt with I, this, the I court administrator. I won't answer for other cities, but what message? Are you being passive aggressive with me right now? Because you're interrupting no, me. No, I'm trying not to waste both of our time and I'm trying to get the message down. See that? That is where the clear disdain is inside her voice. Okay, I'm not trying to waste my time, and I'm not trying to waste your time. Wait a minute. Hold up. I am a taxpaying citizen. You're on the phone with me, and you're telling me that my words is a waste of my, your time? Then you need to get out of that office and let somebody else sit there because you're supposed to listen to me. That is your job. Listen and give information. And pass information around. Administrator, but I honestly, I really don't want to waste time discussing another city because I don't know anything about that. And I don't even want to pretend to know anything about that. But I'll be more than I think that's pretty rude on. for a person that works for me to not let me finish a sentence, ma'am. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Finish your sentence. And can you do it without sarcasm? Because I'm being serious. Sure. Thank okay. you. I appreciate okay, it. Finish. Thank you very much. Okay. So what, what's the court administrator's name there? Deanna Warnick. Okay, Deanna Warnick. Okay, so here's the here's the problem I'm dealing with. We've got a ticket here that was written under color of law. If you look at look under deprivation of rights, 241 and 242, look that up, okay? And then look up the, the last three digits of 744A when somebody writes an illegal citation to the court. Okay, this one that I'm under is an illegal citation because if you look in chapter 48 of your ordinances, it says sidewalk, not on turf. You guys are adding to the law. You guys are not legislators. People in Michigan, those people down there in Lansing, they're legislators. They're the ones that, that write our laws, not you. Okay, you understand that so far? Because I'm, I'm in, uh, right now I am in redress. I am in the First Amendment, and I'm redressing you because you work for me, and I don't work for you. All right? So now this is a protest slash redress, and I'm going to take this to the highest court of the land if I have to. Now, moving on. My problem is that he wrote a code, and I need it identified. I need to know it in your system so that I can go to the tenure commission in my appointment tomorrow because I'm going to put that judge that's going to hear this when I make this on notice. And I want them to watch this, this situation and keep their eyes on it. I just happen to have an uncle that sits on the board. Thank you. Moving on. Now, this, this, this ticket that I have on turf Will you please explain or have her explain to me what the code 9906P that does not exist nowhere in your parking code and ordinance? I'm, I'm so sorry to interrupt you again, and it's not being passive aggressive that I'm interrupting you. It's strictly for information purposes. I'm not in any way trying to dispute what you just said. My question is... To she did interrupt me, though. So I started doing it back. I'm so sorry. I didn't hear that number. Can you repeat that again? 9906P. And that's P as in Paul? Yes, ma'am. All right. So it's clear that this high official underneath the court, she's the assistant court administrator. If she doesn't know that code, and she's like, wait a minute, what was that code again? And she sounds like, she's like, where the hell did this code come from, right? 
So you can hear it in their voice. Guys, all you got to do is connect the dots. Listen to what you're listening to here. Listen to it. Watch this. Watch this crap. This is why it's so important to record and re and 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 go out there and redress these police and let them know that we're watching them. And you know, you know, forget A and E. A and E, all they are is a bunch of bootlickers that uphold everything a cop did. So, like for an example, if he was to go back real quick, if he was to go back in time, like to these for these uh, different. Uh, 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 episodes that a and &E did on, on cops, you could see thousands of Fourth Amendment violations. That's why they're not on no more. That's why they're not on, on regular network no more, because people ain't buying it. People hate it. People ain't watching that shit no more. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, and it says, park on turf. That right there is perjury because it's not in the law. Okay, it's only on your website, though, under $65 ticket. But it's not in law at all. Nowhere in the MCL is it on law. Nowhere is it in the USC on law where they wrote that. Nowhere, nowhere in federal or state law or even old county ordinances that I went through yesterday, they don't have that on there. Now, what they do find is that Sometimes there's not a sidewalk. Nothing. Okay? And it's used as a sidewalk. And police officers write on turf because the sidewalk was not there. That is the right-of-way. Okay? That is what gives people the right-of-way to walk on. So if somebody blocks that right-of-way, that is what they write on the ticket in the information part of it. But they still got to put the proper code, which is chapter 48, all right? It's chapter 48 under your ordinances, ordinances and it says parked on sidewalk. Well, it, if, it, if it was written any other thing, it would be on turf or sidewalk it is. And that clearly wasn't what he gave me a ticket for on private property as I literally literally trespassed him as the the custodian of the property over there on 77 next to 7700 telegraph i have been given ownership rights to trespass anybody i think deemed to and i trespassed him from that property all right because we got a giant problem with a distortion state sanction extortion going on there and we got tons of witnesses tons of people ready to, to to give sworn affidavits in lansing this summer we're not going to put up with this no more and we're tired of people being robbed and we're tired of the court enabling officers no not knowing when to back down and de-escalate on these type of issues and now they're creating their own scene they're, they're creating, they're creating uh, a law that doesn't exist. Now, if you could kindly grab that code instead of thinking of ways to put a, a guy in, that's dying in jail, uh, a victim that is in a freaking uh, 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 wheelchair that is disabled, that has nothing to give to society but help society. I'm for the people. I am not for tyrants. When tyrants act like this, they begin to serve themselves instead of the people. And they have such a great disdain for the people, they don't know who they talk to. You know, if I play this conversation back to you, ma'am, I, I, I guarantee it I can get ten, nine out of ten people to say that you are being disrespectful to me with disdain. I appreciate that you feel that way, sir. I'm just listening. I will give the message to the administrator. I'll be happy. I'm also going to transfer you into a voicemail in case I missed any of this information. Well, that, I, the re, there's a reason why I asked for her assistant. That is what you get paid to do. Right. Okay? And, and there's no reason why, ma'am, with all due respect, uh, today, today is uh, Wednesday, December 28th at approximately... 
uh, 11.36 p.m. And I, I, I spoke to the identified person in the beginning of this conversation and they are well known, well notified, and they should do their job and pass it along to their administrator. Because this right here is under color of law. Okay? It's a crime. All right. And in the meantime, can you switch me back to the person so I can make a formal hearing to go in front of the judge and tell the judge the same thing and ask him? Instead of surrendering my honors to a court that is not in law, that's not lined up, because I guarantee it, if you guys got it on your website, you guys are enforcing this bull crap. All right. Instead of transferring you, that way it doesn't look like we're passing you around. I'll be happy to set up a court date for you. Would you? Wow. You guys hear that? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Here. The ticket number is 22. Tom Adam two two eight seven one, okay. and I dare you guys to make a formal hearing on it. Okay, all right. Well, I'll be more than happy to set it up once we have the ticket. It does not look like it's in our system yet. So it's well, it's been five back. days. Why wouldn't it be there? Hello? I'm sorry. Now it is my turn, sir, as you interrupted me. And once we have that, ticket, see how I interrupted her. See, now, I should have said what she said, but for, just for information purposes, it's been eight days. So, you know, you guys say uh, uh, it, it's uh, it, in 15 calendar days, if we don't take care of this, you're going to put a warrant out for our arrest. Right? We get sick of that. So that's why, that's, that's why I, I, I acted in the manner that I did. When I did that, uh, when I when I repeated that to her, uh, let me and I, uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you what the the how the tenure commission is involved. Uh, uh, but I I don't want to give too information because I know they're watching, so I don't want to give them too much information. This I'm gonna I'm gonna push play again. Hold on. I lost I'll my place. Set up a court date for you. Would you? Wow, you guys hear that? Yeah, oh, go ahead. Here, the ticket number is 22 Tom Adam 22871. Okay. And I dare you guys to make a formal hearing on it. Okay. All right. Well, I'll be more than happy to set it up once we have the ticket. It does not look like it's in our system yet. Well, it's been five days. Why wouldn't it be there? Hello? I'm sorry. Now it is my turn, sir, as you interrupted me. And once we have that ticket, we'll be happy to set you up for a court hearing. Okay, cool. And if it's call back it... as early as tomorrow, it's possible that we may have it by then. But hey, I, have, I apologize for, for interrupting you. That's the last thing I want to do. I just don't like to talk to two-faced, smart aleck people, and it's very well shown in the inside this conversation. And you started it. So I don't like that. I, I can't stand disdain. Have you ever looked up the word disdain when somebody treats you like shit? Right so am I. My time's important, too, and you work for me, and I don't work for you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. <clears throat> so, as you see, Wolby ain't backing down. I'm having these conversations. Now, most people would be in fear of their lives like I am, and they wouldn't do that. I'm dying anyway. So, I'm taking one for the team. Nobody's going to stop the day of my death. When I die, I'm going, and there ain't a damn thing, a doctor, a lawyer, or anybody on this earth besides the one, the creator that I believe in, that allows me, that gives me breath to breathe. And I appreciate him. I celebrated his birthday the other day. I think he's an awesome God. I appreciate him. But getting back to the facts. 
you guys hear me not I'm not standing down and I'm not going to stand down there's no reason that you should ever allow these people to intimidate you because I'm doing this on the record so when they do get out of line everybody will see it and I'll be able to use this as evidence in the future okay now I'm going to uh Call and see if the chief will speak to me and we're going to do this live. I guarantee it that they won't even uh, 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 dignify answering to this because they know that I'm going to hold them to their words and they know. Here, let, let me just let me come at this from another point of view. Let's. I want everybody in here. Hi, Michelle. How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Um, I want everybody in here to put themselves in the shoes of the judge or the court clerk that is standing behind these tyrannical laws. If you knew that something was wrong, that something wasn't right, are you going to allow your integrity to yourself to just say to hell with it. You know, my job isn't to, to uh, uh, speak for people when I, when, when my staff are wrong. Um, uh, uh, it, it, it's the police officers out there doing it. It's their responsibility. So let's go to and put yourself in the police officer's shoes. If you are the chief that is responsible for these police officers and you are listening to a guy that you told that you loved me on one of the interviews that I did with you, and then you have an officer that won't de-escalate that was a conspi that conspired with another officer to violate my rights on Pennsylvania Road. And then that officer in command ends up assaulting me. That was a clear view that he was wrong. And the chief admitted on the record, well, you know, some people just get angry. I'm doing a live on that later. Anyway, so let's put ourselves in Chief Blair's shoes for a second. He has the authority, he has the power, and it was given to him by the people. And he was appointed by the mayor, and so he's not just under his own oath, he's under the oath of the mayor as well. So, if we're sitting here and acting like Chief Blair, let's all put ourselves in Chief Blair's shoes. I'm talking to somebody that I don't agree with all the time, and we have disagreements, but I love his passion, as he says. Let's, let's all pretend we love uh, Mr. X, whoever he is. It doesn't have to be me, just anybody. And they show you the, the differences, and they redress you, and you passively aggressive, turn your back on them and walk away. And you call and you ask for them, and he's constantly turned down. He won't return your phone calls. And then you call, and you and 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 they ask for your assistant to make an appointment. So I get the chief secretary. Will you please give him the message to call me back so we could talk like men about this? Obviously, she did her job. I know she did, because that's what she's supposed to do. He's avoiding me for a reason. Okay. Why now us in his shoes? Why are because the fact is he's avoiding us. Let's start from there. Why would we avoid somebody if you have the authority and this person's never disrespected you? Never not once, never disrespected him. Why do you keep avoiding me? Let's put ourselves in his shoes. Oh. You know, you know, the guy's right. And 
maybe it's because I would have to admit where I'm wrong and we think he's going to sue us anyway. And our attorneys would, would, would definitely tell us that we're responsible for our words and it could be held against us later on in a civil court. And remember, the blue line is attached to every one of their police cars. Why do you think that they would deny the phone call? Anybody have anything you want to put in chat on that? Michelle, I know you're you're always uh you you you're a very you're I, I love your opinions. I've watched you make opinions before. Steph, I'm gonna read Steph's here. Sorry, Wolby, I don't believe any even being Custodian in power, even you can't trust passport from a public sidewalk, but you should be able to get him on blocking. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, let's just go with what Michelle just said. All right, Michelle? And this is what I love about this. I mean, cops. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, forgive me. I got a lot on my mind. Stephen Cop. Here, let me... Let me take you to the video where you will see that Borg wasn't just blocking a sidewalk, all right? The custodian of this property, which I am, all right? Let me show you real good. It's down here. Um, I believe it's right. Let me go into my live streams. I believe it is right. Here. Yeah, it's right here. I did a two hour stream that day. <laughs> you know, Wolvie can go. So um, let's see. Let's show you. So, uh, for your information, I'm going straight to that stream and I'm going to show you where he parked. All right. Let's stop it right here. It shows where I'm parked, okay? So I'm going to show you exactly what happened that day. This is for, the, see, this is, I will interact with, 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 with my people. This is the difference between me and these bigger channels. I will, I will show each and every one of you, and I will be very personal with you because I believe that every one of your opinions are important. I believe that, okay? So let's bring this out of there, okay? Because you we already know the law, all right? So I'm going to bring the video up for you and kindly show you, all right? Because we are in agreements that, you know, he did break the law, you know, because he was uh, blocking the approach, all right? So you agree that he did break a law by blocking the approach in your statement. Your statement is, sorry, Wolvie, I don't believe even being the custodian in power, even you can't trust passport from a public sidewalk. But you should be able to get him on blocking the sidewalk. Exactly, exactly. You are right. You're absolutely right. Okay? So I'm going to show you guys something. Now here is a clear view picture in this. So let me make it big so you guys could see it, okay? Here's a clear proof picture of I'm on the line and I want you to pay attention from this point on, okay? And I'm gonna show you where Borg screwed up, all right? Hey. Listen, Taylor. All right, now you see this whole alley? A foot and a half, let's say two foot, two foot north of this alley goes this way. As if you see my cursor, it's going this way from left to right. See that? So I'm on the left side of that wall right there, and I'm going right. All that property belongs to the to the guy that gave me custodianship, all right? That gave me permission to be there, all right? And do what I was doing. I'm gonna, now I'm going to move on. Police officers, I am not 
against you doing your duties. I, I, I swear to you on everything I love, it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do in the mannerism of how you're doing it. Okay? And, you know, since Borg has violated my rights, so pay attention real close. Right there. Right there. You guys know that I told him last week that he's not allowed to be there. Stephen Cops, is he now trespassing after a formal trespass? Can you please understand that the alley he's using, he's not allowed to use because I formally trespassed him? You understand that? He's already he's breaking the law right now, let alone what else, everything else he does. And he knows it because he confirms it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna show you because this is the raw footage of it. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll be accidentally. Um, yeah, here we go. We'll be accidentally got rid of it. So, all right. So I'm going to stand cops real quick. I need to hurry this up because you asked an important question. He, Several times he's violated. He's committing a misdemeanor right now as we speak going through that alley because he's been told to stay out. Now, if it was vice versa, and if I was going through that alley on private property and he was sitting here doing what I was doing, do you think that he would have arrested me for trespassing? My rights. And he continues to do so. See how he's going over there? You know you're trespassed from this property. Okay, let's stop right there. He already knows he's trespassed. Do you see the entrance of this? All right. Let's go to... Uh, the ordinance. Forget their ordinance. Let's go to the flat out law where they write their ordinance from the legislature. Okay. Let's just do it this way. I love it. All right. So you see this right here over to the left side of your screen. I'm going to highlight that legislator. See that? Now we are under 257, 674 prohibited parking. Okay. Now look under here. A sidewalk in front of a perfect driveway. So far, he's broken all of them within an intersection. That's he's in an intersection. He's within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. It's right behind him. And the cross. No, he's he, he's not he's not in violation of that. So these three right here, he's violating himself while enforcing the law. Okay. And I redressed him on those. All right. Now, I'm going to move on, uh, Stefan, because I have a lot of respect for you, and I think that you're a loyal subscriber, and I appreciate you. Hopefully, I've answered your question, because the two back, the, them tires, you see this part right here? Oh, excuse me. I need to point that back out to you so you can see it. Do you see this? Lord have mercy. Do you see this? Do you see this line right here? See that line? This property don't belong to them. The rest of his car is trespassed. Now, if you were sitting there and the custodian of the property has already put down in record that you have violated the law and you are not allowed to be there, do you think that they would drag you out of your car, get you an ID, and write you a ticket for trespassing? After being told several times on a live stream, because they have they they have their their their, their recording devices, all right. So, and and they would win that in a court of law. He's doing the same thing, so he's actually guilty of a misdemeanor and three citations of blocking a sidewalk, blocking an inner 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 uh, uh, uh intersection. Okay, because that's where you enter and exit from this section. All right. Uh, moving on. So, because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in a premiere later, so the rest of my eight thousand subscribers will get it. Um, de facto, how you doing, buddy? Good seeing you there. Okay, everybody, notice when you 
praise them. They throw a rally. But when you criticize, they avoid you like the plague. Good point. Nah, I'm not talking about no riots, but anyway. Wolverine is trespassing him from the property, not from the sidewalk. Wake up and pay attention, says Tommy. Well, you know, I mean, he, Tommy, you are right. But like I said, I, I believe that people are being educated right now. I believe that Stefan is, 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 is on our side. She just needs to understand the logistics of the issue. Okay. It's no big deal. All right. So I'm, uh, Stefan, do you tell me you understand so uh, the rest of us can move on and know that you're on the same page we are? Okay. All right. So I gotta address. I gotta address the rest of my stuff. Let's see what uh, Happy Captain locking the side locking. I believe you meant blocking, ladies and gentlemen. Who's the victim? No victim, no crime. I guess that goes both ways. Um. Yeah, well, you know, that, that's another argument for another time. We got to take baby steps into getting these people to uh, enforcement and, 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 and their policing practices. We, we have to take this slow, brother. Okay. So um, stand by, guys. Sorry about that. My wife was asking me some questions. You know, the boss, she's the boss, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it says, can you trespass a cop who writes the former trust? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I formally trespassed him on a video that will hold up in a court of law any day because I am not a law enforcement officer, but what I can do is take this video and take the sheriff out there and he can formally Tell him to leave forthwith immediately because I, he said he could see and he heard the custodian of the property asking to leave. All right. And that is why Borg, after this citation, watch, watch this, guys. I'm going to show you something. Let me see what Michelle's saying. They don't care what you say. You have no authority over them. They do as they please. Okay, so what Michelle is saying here is that that perceived authority that she's talking about, they think we have no authority over them. Um, Michelle, I can show you in my, um, I could show you in my videos that I got a pretty good argument for me being the authority because I, you know, he kept it all in the paperwork and I'll show you later. Okay, maybe we'll, you know what, I'll tell you what. For my subscribers that I know that are, that's down with this, that I've known you for two years, I'm gonna create a um, I'm gonna create a another account somewhere else, and or we can go into uh, Discord. We'll just use Discord, and we'll have these conversations because I don't want to give our, all our uh, investigative techniques because that's that's where they get us. You know what I'm saying? So we'll, we'll talk about that later. But that perceived authority that we're looking at right now is a crock. All right. So watch what happens when he does this. Again, he's being formally trespassed. Okay. See that doing. in the beginning. I'll just let, I'll let, I'll, I'll let uh, the then that the, I remember when I was talking about the now and the then I'll let the then articulate what happened. All right. Let's just do it. He's probably trying his best to counter-react what I'm doing. Because that's what tyrants do, ladies and gentlemen. Their egos are so bad that they think that it's okay to rob, steal, and all that other dumb crap. They think it's okay. And it's not. <clears throat> He thinks I'm leaving now. Ugh. So I, I get in my vehicle because I know what he's doing. I I, I have been um, educated and I have experience and I am a professional at what I do. So listen to me secure my vehicle. I'm thinking that my vehicle is secured, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thinking that the keys are in the ignition. 
and I have locked my doors and I've secured my video, but I have it because I'm having a panic attack because I know he's on, on his way to harass me and put me under duress. Pass. Oh. Now, if you're not aware of that, that's a panic attack right there. And right before, right, and while I was doing that, I says, "Okay, I better close and make sure this secures." I, I opened and closed my door again, and I thought I secured it. I even took my elbow. If you listen real close, you'll hear the coat rub it up against the window and hit the plastic. <sighs> What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? No, I can hear you. No. What? Uh, I wrote you a ticket for parking on turf, okay? I'm allowed to. I, I got permission. I got permission. I got permission. Your vehicle cannot be parked on yes, turf. Yes, it can. I got permission to do anything I want to. Information's on the bottom for Whatever. you. Whatever. You see, there you go again. There you go. This is called retaliation, and you just you just violated my Fourth Amendment right. Soon as he broke the barrier of opening my door and throwing that up on my dashboard, he violated the law. That is a Fourth Amendment violation. You have to have a warrant to pass the demarcation line of, of the barrier, broke the barrier to enter my private property on private property where he's been actually trespassed from. Now, you will see him leave. Watch this. And he doesn't give no more tickets during peak area because that's what he was doing. He confirmed, right, that he did, in fact, get a legal trespass warning. <sighs> Told you, guys. Told you. See, this Shit right here is the problem that we have. He violated my immunity. He violated my, my enmity. And See him? He's right here. He takes off and he does not return for the rest of the night. Uh, I stay there for hours. And listen, I even tried to call the Taylor police right here. They knew, they know my number, and they would not answer. Well, because, you know, he, he, he got mad because it was in retaliation of that. You see that? He couldn't make no more money. You guys see? Because uh, that, that'll pay that. That'll pay that ticket. But you see, see the. You guys see the sidewalk? I'm not blocking the sidewalk. The price of freedom. See that? He's That's not it. there because he knows that I have the authority to do what I did, and he's mad. He's upset. Traffic right now. People are speeding right by, and he can't get them. He can't sit here and get them no more. And so he's gonna sit up there. See him up there. He's going to wait for me to leave. He's trying to tell me that I can't park here, and I can park here. I'm allowed to park here. The law doesn't say that I that you uh, park. Okay, uh, let me answer that question there for uh, my friend Michelle. Michelle, the question that she asked is, really, Wolverine? I've seen cops get away with their whole body in the car with their feet on the ground and they get away with it. Well, the reason why they're getting away with it is because they're not writing, not, not enough people are writing them up for the right thing. So when they write them up, did they, in fact, was it a traffic stop? Okay. That's number one. Anything to do with a car to get inside of a car in a traffic stop, if you're being pulled over, 
and they have reasonable or articulable suspicion, they are allowed to bring you out of the car for any reasons and 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 use their suspicion to whatever uh, cost that they want. But when people are recording them, that makes a big difference. And we, if we get enough people that are recording this, uh, you will see them violate their code of conduct. And you'll see them violate the law, the supreme law of the land. Okay, you can't just come in somebody's car because you think it's okay. It's absolutely not, ladies and gentlemen. I'm moving forward with this. They have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion and probable cause to come in your car. He did not have probable cause. He did not have a warrant. The Fourth Amendment says you have to affirm a warrant under good faith to a judge. That's what that he did not have a probable cause nor a warrant because it's a CI. I didn't commit a crime, Michelle. Right? Right there before your eyes. I'm on private property that was given authority by the custodian as the custodianship of the property. I'm actually having another meeting today at 2 PM. Listen, guys, I'm, I'm for the people. I love good policing. I hate bad cops. I love good cops. I want to support good cops. I want to support good policing. I'm my cameras out there. I have at least six departments that has shown me professionalism and, 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 honored me by treating me as if I was their supervisor. I have that. And that right there is a good feeling because these people care more about the service part of their job than actually thinking and looking down at a bar that they, that they have gotten because they're a lieutenant or a stripe that they got. And they earned inside that building for people to respect their authority inside that building. I am not under that. I did not give an oath to the constitution, nor do I have a bargaining agreement with them. I am not under that and nor none of you. Uh, let me move on. When can a cop open your door? A warrant, an arrest, a probable cause? Never any time. Never any time else. Exactly. They cannot do it. Now listen, they do it and just because they can do it, just like they can, the web designer says that they can write these tickets and they've been getting away with this so long that their arrogance allowed to put them in writing. They could take it down now and I could still get them under a judicial review on that. I could still get them spanked by the, the legislator by doing what they're doing and telling them to stop it in writing. You got to take that down because we did not write that in the law. Um, scrub, that is the way it should be, but it really is different. Yeah, it is. Just like socialism. Let's talk about socialism for one sec. Socialism on paper looks awesome. Looks real. Here, let's look that up real quick. I'm going to show you something. So it is. It's said right here: a political and economic theory of social organization which advocates the means of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned or regulated by the community as a whole. That that's awesome. But guess what happened under socialism? Dictators, Orwellian states, which is a police state. That is what's happening right now. We, we're on the fence on this. And that's why it's not working because on paper, it sounds great. But when it comes down to it, it's the same people manipulating, abusing their authority, not following directive policy, making their own operating standard procedure. And then you get this right here. This is what you get, right? You get stuff like this in socialism. You get a web designer that was gi uh, given a directive, right? That was given a directive to put this right here inside a list right here. See, this is a list. This is a list of traffic uh, violations and, and cost, okay? And there you'll see parking on turf. Right again, I will show you in. I'm going to do this one more time, and then I'm going to uh, we'll we'll go on to something else. 
Here's the administrative rule. See this right here? Minute legislator. They're the ones that make a nap. On a sidewalk in front of a private drive. See that? Them are the, the These are the three things that Borg is guilty of himself. Isn't it funny how they find a way to punish you for the same thing that I'm telling you that he's not above the law? He's not above the law. He's not above the law. So where do we go from here? Well, we got to make him famous on paper. That's just all there is to it. Because watch this. Okay. So this is what we call tyranny. Okay. For those of you that don't understand fully what tyranny is, all right, let's look, let's, I'm just going to, I'm just doing this for layman's terms. A lot of people are not educated. They're, I'm not saying they're not smart enough to understand this. I'm saying that they've never seen it before. Okay. A lot of people haven't. So let me educate you on that. Okay. Cruel or oppressive government or rule. Now look, cruel, unreasonable or arbitrary. See that again? We're looking at the word arbitrary, right? So let's look at the word arbitrary. Let's define that word based on random choice or personal whim rather than reason or system. You see that? That is inside the word tyrant. That is why we're having these issues. Officer Borg and the rest of Taylor Police that continue to randomly write down whatever they want because you see it's not in the code nor is it in the legislator legislators didn't write that ladies and gentlemen that is an arbitrary rule that is attached to the word tyranny because they are the authority they're the ones that we picked as the stewards of society that pay their salaries us being the boss us saying look you work for me i don't work for you and now you want to abuse your authority and write me a ticket for the same stuff you're being that you're being redressed on. Now you guys tell me, right? You guys tell me. Uh, let me look at uh, some of these guys. Um, he made money. Yeah, he, he. I didn't pay them yet. Always playing games. Can't you be serious for once and be real, especially to a guy that like gave you like five hundred bucks and fifty. I'll are increments because I liked what you were saying. I thought you were a funny guy, but what's wrong with you, Bao? What's wrong, bro? What did I do to you to hurt you? What did I do to offend you, dude? If anything, you kind of stuck up for me in a matter of facts when it comes to when you pointed out to those uh, chomo enablers that were on your screen at the time. One of them was anyway, uh, that they have, uh, shown and proven uh, with receipts that uh, this person literally said that uh, 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 I'm not going to say the names, but he pointed out a guy that, that uh, was on your, your panel that actually was telling the audience of that, that show that they had that, well, he, that was 20 years ago when he raped that person. That's what he's referring to. That was 20 years ago. And he enabled the actions of a man that pled guilty or was found guilty, whatever. But it's it's on court record. There's tons of receipts on it. And I'm not going to say the guy's name, but the guy raped a 13-year-old to talk her out of her vagina. Okay? Some people think that that's okay. I, I say no. I say you're... Once a rapist, always a rapist. I say, if you're a rapist, you don't get no redemption from me. I won't redeem you. Your, your heavenly redeemer can redeem you. I'm just going to say, you know what? I can forgive you as a human being to allow you to live. If it come to me, if somebody said, hey, you're on a jury, does he get the death penalty? I would say no, because I disagree with the death penalty. That don't mean you're not worthy of it. And I, I'm not your judge, jury, and executioner. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I will never allow a chomo that I know for a fact and have receipts on on my panel to say just because he's a smart guy and he's got a lot to offer this community to enable an action. I will never do that. Never. Moving on. So the guy, strictly to what you were saying is, well, it seems, I'm paraphrasing you, Val, when you were when we had that panel, you said, "Well, basically, um, I mean, what's your point? Why do you keep following this guy around? 
Why do you keep like chasing him and like being stalkish with him? I mean, you, you know what you're saying is not true. So why say it? And I believe you left it alone. And we, and we, we, I guess uh, we handled it out and we were done with it and moved on. Lock doors for freedom. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Bow. You know what? I, I, I loved some of your stuff that I watched. Um, and I did not appreciate. There's one thing that keeps fucking with me, Bow. And I don't know how you kept your compulsor when he did it. When a sworn enemy of you literally in front of everybody assaults and batters you by pulling you and giving you a hug and pulling you to him. If anything, that's gaslighting on the highest level to make you, I didn't do anything wrong. Your abusers literally pull, grabbing your shoulder and pulling you to, that bothers me to the core of my integrity. And uh, I got to say that you're more of a man than, than I would have been because I would have been very upset. Get your dirty, nasty, disgusting, busted, disgusted, won't be trusted piece of shit hands off of me. Anyways. That happened a long time ago. That is why I I feel your disdain for them. I feel that, and you have a right to. That is why I've always had your back, sir, just so you know. You, you can contribute to the stream. It's just that, you know, if you heard what I just said, that should mean something to you. If it don't, then fine. But that means something to me. I, I know. Yeah, that's another thing Bow says, you know, but this is not about Bow. This is about Wolvie that has some similarities with what Bao went through, with the same thing of this ableist piece of shit that is targeting me now because he thinks I'm weak and uh, the people ain't having it. I would agree, Pittsburgh, AZ, and Utah have the worst cop. I disagree. I disagree. They're, they're up there. Arizona, Mesa, Phoenix, they're bad. But, you know, Chicago... Detroit, much bigger places, much more tyranny, and there's not enough people. See, you got to understand in the neighborhoods of Chicago and Detroit, they have been dealing with this type of tyranny all their life compared to the suburbs where people just follow the law and there's not much crime at all because everybody knows everybody and everybody functions. That's, I, I guess that's their socialist. Like Taylor... Taylor are Democrats. All of them, they're Democrats. That whole council's Democrats. They have zero Republicans in it. But a lot of them did vote for Trump because of one reason, law enforcement. And that's why I can't stand Trump. Trump is putting himself behind law and order to, to, to allow people. There is a reason why the people are standing up and saying, you, okay? And we're tired of it. And you guys constantly racially profile us well we're gonna profile you together when one cop screws up you're all on trial because there ain't none of you willing in that jurisdiction to step up once it's published and go and do your your constitutionally uh uh uh, uh promised oath and honor your oath and go arrest that man you won't arrest each other that is what we're sick of Let's see. He wanted it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm getting off of that. I would agree. It's pretty, okay. Let's see. When will we start looking at these politicians as demons? Because that is what they are. God, you are so right. You are so right. I appreciate you guys, man. You know, I just wish, uh, you know, you guys with bigger channels would kind of give me some more uh, attention. Uh, on certain issues because you know i do have something to offer you i i have something to offer the community i have hope right i try to bridge a gap i do my best to bridge this gap guys i'm not perfect and you can't expect me to be perfect there ain't nobody perfect you know who, who out here is perfect you know and if you are you're joking so he said Donkey punch let the like. Fishow. Fishow, 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 fishow. Yeah, buddy. Uh, super P, fishow. Yeah, I, you know, look, I did do that. And um, 
I'm, when I'm done with this stream, I'm going to go ahead and do a premiere on it because it, it reaches more people. YouTube uh, shadow bans me. Right now, um, I'm getting about one-tenth. Not even that. I, I, I don't even know. But I'm, I'm not even getting, you know, where if you go back and look, like if you go back here, let me show you something. When I when I did a, um, and I'm going to have to cut this out, damn it. Now I'm going to have to edit this. Shit. Um, just so you guys will understand. Um, going back to this, open this up right here. Go right here. Go to this and show you. Now, remember, I have over 8,000 subscribers, man. Okay. Which is not a lot of people, you know, compared to these other channels we deal with. But they were they were here at one time, so they know what, what I'm talking about. So let me show you. So, you know, my little 50 cent that I made on this, which was <laughs> nothing. I don't care about the monetization because it's it's YouTube don't pay me. It's the ads that pay me. You guys see this right here? You see, you see this right here where it says 8,000? See, and that's because... I freaking did a premiere on it and people can appreciate it. So um, that is what I'm going to do with this. So you guys have a great day. You guys be good to one another, man, and enjoy your life. Enjoy uh, the things that God has given you or whoever you believe in Buddha, uh, an, uh, an ant crawling up a stick, whatever it may be. Please enjoy and be honest and good with one another. And like Scrubzilla says, one love, baby. That's what we do. Peace. Love. I'm back quiet reading the mail for sure.